kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Winter fun with Daddy. One winter's day, Daddy decided to bring the kitty cats to a park for some fun sledding on the snowy slopes. We'll have a great time mm. playing in the snow with Daddy. <laughs> wow, this is great. We can do whatever we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, two things. Listen when I tell you something, and we have to be home by lunchtime. Wow! There were so many slopes, they didn't know which one to choose. I want to ride huh? down this one. I want to go on uh, that one. Oh. No, that one over there. Uh, well, now, kittens, we can only stay for a few hours. Come on, we have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, time flies when you're having fun. Uh. Kittens, no taking naps in the snow. <laughs> okay, well, it's time we headed home. Aww. But we haven't even had a chance to slide down the biggest slope. <laughs> well, I suppose we can do one more run. To get to the top of the highest slope, Daddy and the kittens needed to ride a special lift. Okay, keep your scarf on. It, it's windy up here. But, Dad, I'm really hot. And plus, there's no wind here at all. Whoa! Aww. That wouldn't happen if you'd listen to me. Now we have to go rescue your scarf. <laughs> well, hurry Ooh. up. Hey, I wonder, if I fall into a snow pile down there, will I turn into a big snowball? <laughs> Oh, ha! It would be really fun. Ah, oh, I wonder how far down you can ride this slope. Oh yeah! Remember, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> 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 that was awesome! And now we must rescue Cookie Scarf from the tree. Huh? Now don't shake the tree or you'll get covered with snow! <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that would happen. <laughs> huh? ah. Now we need to head home, yes? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? The kittens wanted to go for one more ride. The three of you promise we'll leave right after this? Sure, Daddy! But then the snow started falling. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one of these snow piles is our car. We really need to get out of here. <laughs> This one is green. It's not ours. This one's blue. Not ours. It's red. Hey, everyone, I think I found our car. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for digging my car out of that mountain of snow. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so tired and cold, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Me too, Pudding. None of this would have happened if we listened to Daddy in the first place. <laughs> it's great that you understand that, kittens. But right now we need to solve the witch's our car mystery. I have a really good idea. Daddy should click the beeper on his key. <laughs> I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> well, let's dig our car out of the snow and head home. Mommy's expecting us. By listening to Daddy and working together, the kittens made it back for lunch with Mommy, happy and excited to be home after a morning on the slopes. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? Hey, Pudding, catch! 
that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. Wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Daddy's Kitty Cafe. One day, Daddy was practicing a presentation for a new cafe. And that's why the Cat Cake Cafe will deliver impressive profitability with perfect products and super service. Darling, it's perfect. I'm sure the factory boss cats will approve of your proposal. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I think it's ready to go. I'll double check all the slides are on my computer. Daddy was going to show his presentation on his laptop. Bye bye! I wonder whether or not the boss cats will like Daddy's presentation. Oh, I'd better call work and tell him I'm gonna be late for the presentation. 
goodness, I forgot my telephone. Huh? Mommy was busy working on her new collection. Mommy! Daddy forgot to take his phone. Grandpa's trying to call him. Hello? Hey there. Good morning. I'm sorry, but it seems he left his phone home by mistake. Okay, I'll call back later then. Bye. Well, goodbye then. Now, kittens, please put this on the desk in Daddy's office. He's probably going to come back to get it. Huh? huh? Mommy! Mommy! Huh? Some stranger is calling Daddy. Uh, hello? Um, is this the stripey dentist's office? No, I think that you've got the wrong number. I'll just turn the ringer volume down. Please put the phone back on Daddy's desk. Daddy can check the list of who tried to call later. Hey, look! This call is from Daddy's office! Good afternoon! Hello! The Sweet huh? Treats boss cats are already assembled. Huh? We're all here waiting. Hmm. Hello? Can you even hear me? Hello, this is Candy speaking. I'm here with Cookie and Pudding. Hmm? Daddy went to work, but he forgot his phone at home. <laughs> I see. Well, we'll just have to cancel the presentation. But Daddy worked super extra hard on it. He even rehearsed it a whole bunch of times. I'm afraid we would all need to see your father's cafe ideas right now. I have a really good idea. The three of us can make Daddy's presentation for him. The kittens turned on the phone's camera. Can you all see us? Should we start giving the presentation now? <laughs> um, uh, you can get started, sure. Hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. Our daddy's cafe will be small and cozy. Outside will be painted yellow and orange. There'll be cups and saucers, and they'll all have a paw print, just like the sign when you come in. And it'll have cute little tables. The display cases will be full of pastries and sweets. Plus, there'll be a bunch of fresh berries that you can add to your sweets. All the waiters will wear fancy uniforms. And they'll all wear hats that look like cream tarts. <laughs> also, also, there's, there's going, going to be... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got stuck in a terrible traffic jam, and somehow I forgot my phone. <laughs> Hi, kittens. Daddy! These wonderful and resourceful kittens just gave your presentation uh, for you. Really excellent work. <laughs> they did? Good job, kittens. Thanks. We're happy to say we're moving ahead with the project. Uh, one thing, what are we going to call your cafe? <laughs> well, there's really only one that makes sense. It should be Kitty Cat's Cafe. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the Kitty Cat's clever idea to help Daddy, there will soon be a lovely new cafe in the city. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Our dinosaur island is finally ready to go. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Time to play dinosaurs! But wait a second! We have to clean up the mess in our room first. I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right, then. How do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, one, one two, three. three. Rock, paper. Oh. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play cookie next. Rock, paper, scissors, one, two, three, scissors! Mm. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Uh... Uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. Mm. So, 
Oh, the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors, then. But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors. Ship. Magnifying glass. Jump rope. It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Huh? Huh? The nail could puncture the tire. And the huh? hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win? There's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Huh? Oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? <laughs> Quite fond of this new game. You're all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs. <laughs> Renovations. One day, mommy and daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic? Really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments! Dance parties! Oh, we can play so many games up there! <laughs> oh. Come on, let's go take a look at the new room! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? It's still the same as before. Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. Well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. 
There! It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh! Whoa! I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? <laughs> oh! are way more trouble than they're worth. Well, oh. What if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. Look at that! I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh. darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh no! Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty cat oh. paw prints. <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. We could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. Uh, uh, what if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. 
I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Ah. Grandma, that was amazing! You look like some kind of super cat or something! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we do a few exercises all together? So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. The Kettle Quest. One day, the kittens and Mommy and Daddy were getting ready for tea. Thank you for your help, dear kittens. Everything's ready. I just need to boil some water. Goodness! I think our electric kettle is broken. <sighs> well, can't say I'm surprised. Not after how long it's been serving us. Oh, no. We won't ever have yummy lemony tea again. It's nothing to worry about, kittens. We'll zip to the store this instant and pick up a nice, shiny new kettle. We'll have a beautiful new kettle. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> At the store, Daddy and the kittens see that they sell way more than just kettles. Markers! We should buy some! But you already have markers, Cookie. Yeah, but not these colors. All right, let's buy them. Oh, hammers! I just remembered I need a new hammer. Hey, look at those cool swim fins. Ah! <laughs> oh, those are pretty balloons! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy and the kittens got so carried away shopping that they didn't notice the time. Goodness, we've been here over an hour. Mommy has got to be waiting for us. Come along, let's pay for everything and head home. <laughs> We're oh. back. <laughs> yeah, it appears you had quite a fun shopping trip. You betcha. We bought so many things that we need. New markers. I didn't have all these cool colors. But, Cookie, you already have those colors. Don't you remember? You drew this picture with them. Oh, yeah. You're right. I guess I forgot about them. Look, Mommy, we also bought a rubber ducky. I'll go put it in the bathtub. <laughs> but we've already got lots of rubber ducks. What other things did you buy, my darlings? Uh... You bought holiday tree ornaments in the middle of summer? The snowflakes on them are really beautiful. Look, we also got some snow in a can. 
What's in that box? That is a sea monster costume, dear. Uh, Where are those fancy parties you like? Yes, I'd prefer something fancier, like a mermaid costume. Certainly not a sea monster one. Oh! oh, oh. 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 <laughs> a swimming pool filter. Oh, that's right. We don't have a swimming pool. Oh, it's, uh, for, um... Well, yeah, that was a silly thing to buy. But wait till you see our nice new hammer, because I lost my old one. Um, no, you didn't. I saw it in the cellar. You did? <laughs> Hooray! Mommy found my old one. What are we going to do with all this stuff that we bought, Daddy? I think we should put them down in the cellar for safekeeping. Then there wouldn't be any room left down there. <laughs> Help! I have a really good idea. We should return everything to the store. Wonderful idea, Candy. Uh, we'll do it right after we've eaten something. My poor tummy's all rumbly and empty. Well, then it's a good thing that it happens to be tea time. Uh, there might be one small problem. We forgot to buy a kettle. Oh, no. <laughs> no need to worry, my darlings. We have an old metal kettle in the kitchen somewhere. I can use it to heat the water like they did in the old days on the stove. So awesome! Wee wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The family had their tea after all, and the kittens realized that it's not always good to buy everything you want. It's better to buy the things that you really need. The kitten's little cousin. One day, mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. Kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son, Bagel, along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin, Bagel, is really like. I'm sure he's really well-behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> and I bet he's good at playing soccer. <laughs> With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever. Or an amazing music band. <laughs> Hi. Hello there, Cinnamon. Auntie Cinnamon! <laughs> Hello there, little kittens. My, how big you've all gotten. Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin. Of course, here's your cousin. <laughs> um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. Oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool ball bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, ball from my chess set. You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> We should try to calm him down. We can't let him play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? Ah, 
<laughs> the kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. The Good Deeds Agency. One day, Daddy was taking out the trash and the kittens decided to help him. <laughs> Thank you, kittens. What lovely, helpful children helping your daddy out. Know what? It feels great when somebody thanks you. It sure does. Should we try helping someone else out? We should start our own good deeds agency. We could help everyone. They'd all love that. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens turned their treehouse into the Good Deeds Agency. All they needed next were people to help. Looks like there just aren't any cats that need our help. It's just that no one knows what we're here to do. We should just walk around and help everyone. That'll get our agency's name out there. The Good Deeds Agency is here to help you. Oh, no. Looks like Mommy isn't here for us to help. That's all right. We'll just put all these buttons into jars and leave a We Helped You card. She'll see what we did and the card, and she'll thank us later. It'll be great. <laughs> Get some new dandelions. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. We're really good at helping people. Our good deeds agency is just the best. Here come the cats that we helped. Prepare to get thanked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What's wrong? Dear kittens, I understand that you were only trying to be helpful, but unfortunately you seem to have created some problems. What? You've sorted my buttons by color, but I needed them sorted by shape. The shapes of the buttons were the important thing for me. We wanted to plant new flowers today, but then you flooded our garden beds. All of the soil turned into a mushy swamp. Oh, you kids did not realize my artistic vision, and you mixed up all my paints. Yellow is green, and blue is now purple. Oh. oh, no. We tried to make a good deeds agency, but made a bad one instead. <laughs> Don't feel bad, my darling kittens. Trying to help your neighbors is a wonderful idea. Just make sure you give it some thought. I have a really good idea. We can correct all of the agency's mistakes by first asking what we can help them with. And exactly how. <laughs> oh, 
Soon the kittens fixed all the mistakes they made and helped everyone so well that word about their good deeds agency got around to all their neighbors. Kittens! Some of our neighbors could really use the good deeds agency's help! <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The good deed agency turned out to be a great idea. It's so nice to make friends and neighbors happy by helping them. Junior Archaeologists The kittens and mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. Whew. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! My, my, darling. It looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh. A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, good morning, morning, sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> the kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here and there's no treasure to be found either. Uh, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time, the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. Well, I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. <laughs> I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, 
and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! <laughs> Whoa! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this, Candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Uh -huh. Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh -huh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So, so awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Clowning around with Boris. One day, the kittens were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. And I'll be a concert pianist. And I, uh, I'll be a great scientist. And I want to be a clown. Huh? 
Boris, do you really want to be a clown? You're kind, but not so funny. Well, clowns aren't funny people in real life. They're funny with their bodies when they perform. But you never perform, Boris. You're right. Which means I better start. I'll come up with a funny routine and perform it for everyone. Everyone will laugh a lot. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But at home, the kittens realized that they were worried about Boris. But what if his routine turns out not to be funny? Boris will be so sad if he does a show and no one laughs. What if we sneak and tickle every kitten's paws? Then they're sure to laugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, that won't work. When something's funny, everyone laughs at the same time. We could put this in the audience and play a laugh track on it. <laughs> it would be really strange to hear laughter, but not see anybody laughing. <laughs> or you three could help Boris come up with his clown show. Friends are supposed to help one another. Ah! The kittens want to help Boris with his routine. Oh. Thanks a lot for coming. My costume is pretty ready, but I still haven't thought up a funny routine. We can help you with that. Everyone usually laughs when someone falls down. Look, like this. Ow. Uh. Ow. You just drop the banana uh. peel and then you slip uh. on it and fall on your bottom. Uh. Go uh. on, you got this. Uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Looks like comedy wipeouts aren't your thing either. Everybody laughs when they hear a funny song, so just sing something hilarious. La la la, la la la. Funny la, songs la. really need to have funny words. But I don't know any really funny songs. Oh, here's something funny to do. Comedy gold, pie in the face, and all you have to do is stand still while I do the rest. You ready? No. <laughs> Well, that was a total waste of a delicious cake. Yeah, and for nothing, because it wasn't even funny. This is all my fault. I'm not funny at all. I won't ever be a real clown. Boris, you're really funny. That's hilarious. Am I? I wasn't trying to be funny. It somehow just happened by itself. <laughs> you know what? I think you really do have the talent to be a real clown. <laughs> I have a really good idea. The kittens came up with a clown routine to showcase Boris's natural talent. And that's how the kitty cats yeah. realize that a talent may not always be easy to see. Sometimes it can even be discovered by accident. Nap time. One day the kittens were visiting grandma. Now then, little kittens, it's time for your nap. You can get some lovely rest right there in your nice new hammocks. Nap time? But naps are for little babies. Oh, we wanted to blow bubbles after lunch. Yeah, that's way more fun than sleeping for an hour. Little ones, it's good to have a nice healthy rest. Come along, you might just have a great idea in your sleep. For example, one time a well-known scientist dreamed up a wonderful invention whilst he was sleeping. And it became a very famous scientific discovery. 
One very famous artist would lay down to sleep and then wake up and paint the extraordinary and crazy things he dreamed about. Wow, I love that! Cool! I say let's nap! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm not sleepy at all. I'm not either. Huh? <sighs> well, it's not too late to go back to our original plan. <laughs> Candy, what's this? Why aren't you sleeping? Well, because, uh... Oh, the mosquitoes are bugging us. Grandma hung up special nets to protect the kittens from insects. The mosquitoes won't bother you any longer. Sleep well, kittens. We have to find a place to blow bubbles where Grandma won't be able to see us. <laughs> <laughs> My kittens. Huh? You're still not sleeping? Well, um, you see, the ducks are keeping us up. That's right. With all their quacking and quacking, how could we sleep? Oh, I guess they must be hungry. We need to find some food for them. <laughs> Now then, the ducks won't bother you two at all. But Cookie and Candy didn't want to take a nap. Cookie, candy, pudding, Daddy's here. Keep it down. The kittens are taking a nap. <laughs> Doesn't look like they are to me. Sorry, Grandma, but we don't need naps anymore. They're really just no use at all. You're wrong about that. Guess what? While I was sleeping, I came up with a way to blow a whole bunch of bubbles at one time. Yes. <laughs> I know what we should do next time. We should actually sleep when Grandma says it's nap time. Then maybe we'll dream up some really great ideas. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that taking a little rest during the day is very useful and good for you. The Sock Puppet Saga. One day, Mommy brought up a big box from the basement. Take a look. This box is full of your old toys. Hooray! I can't wait to play with all of them! <laughs> First, you have to look through all of these mm -hmm. and then decide which toys you want to keep and which toys to give away. Once you're done with that, you can play with them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> look at this! It's Cheeky, my old sock puppet! Hello! Mommy told us many stories about Cheeky, how Cheeky would eat all the sweets. And he sneaks and tugs on kittens' tails in the night. Cookie, we're trying to sort through toys here. Your stories really aren't helping. Hey, I'm helping out. Like, for example, I've decided Cheeky stays. Yep, yep. Ow! Cookie, that hurts. Stop! I'm not Cookie. I'm Cheeky. No, you're not. You're just my brother with a puppet. 
Oh, hey, Cookie, stop that. I'm Cheeky. Try and catch me if you can. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to catch Cheeky if we want to get our work done. Huh? Sheriff Sweetie is ready to track Cheeky down. Detective Bowtie always gets his puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Bowtie and Sheriff Sweetie set out to find Cheeky. as always, and the detective and the sheriff were both chasing it. They were chasing very fast, so they didn't see the bull. Huh. Are you telling me that socks with buttons for eyes are to blame? Yeah! Uh. I didn't have any idea that sock puppets could do such things. Does that sound right to you, Kitten Mitten, my kitchen mitt puppet? It was just Kitten Mitten doing it. La, 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 bla. Um, sorry, Mommy. It was us who broke the bowl and made this mess. I guess it's probably better if we put Cheeky and the detectives away. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We should clean up the mess and stop blaming the sock puppets for what we did. When we're done cleaning, we can put on a puppet play. Now that is a wonderful idea, Candy. Kittens, it is really important that you take responsibility for what you do. And don't dump the blame onto someone else, especially an old sock. <laughs> the kittens finished cleaning up and found another use for their puppets. <laughs> <laughs> I think this wonderful show could use another character or two. Don't you, Kitten Mitten? My goodness, but you're a handsome cat. And Sir Goofy uh, McPook. <laughs> so awesome! <laughs> be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kitty cats and their parents had a lot of fun performing their puppet play.